Hi everyone and thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to be harvesting dandelions. So you can see here I found a bunch of them. This is a really, really nice patch. And you can see that I've already dug up quite a bit. So here's the root here. This is the biggest one, it's huge. And then of course we also have some of the leaves. Now these are not the youngest leaves, but they're really, really green. So I think I'm gonna take those home and freeze them for smoothies this winter. Now as far as choosing a plant, really any of these are gonna be good. They're pretty much all gonna have big roots. We'll start with this one. Let's see here. So what you want to do is you just want to <laughs> dig around. Now the root goes really, really deep. Depending on your soil, it can be very hard, very difficult to access. So this one's a double root. I can feel it. So what you're going to do, let me just get up. There we go. That's better. Now you can see what I'm doing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dig right underneath it. Like we just want to get right in. You can see the size of this screwdriver I'm using. I'm going directly in and down all the way around the plant because we want to see if we can get the full root out. So then I expose it a little more. You can see there the double root. And I just want to, oh, that came out very nicely. There we go. So there we go. This one's a double. And the leaves are... Pretty nice. I think we're also gonna take the leaves on that one. So there's one. I didn't have luck with one in that area before. Let's try this one here. This one's a bit of an older root, you can tell, because the leaves are more like jagged kind of thing. Let's see here what we got. Dandelion root has awesome anti-inflammatory benefits. Also, if you're a little bit bloated, it's really great to drink as a tea. It's actually a coffee substitute, some people will call it. It is a tea. Um, you just, you get the root, you dry it, and then you toast it and grind it up. And that will help you if, like I said, you're retaining a little bit of water, it'll help to flush that out. So what do we got here? I just wanna make sure I don't yank on it before I have everything cleared. What do we have? I feel a pretty, oh, this one's pretty big, I think. So what you wanna to do too is just feel around, just to feel the shape of it. This is like a multi one as well. And it goes pretty deep. So I'm just gonna keep digging underneath that and just inwards like this. So down and in and then down and in okay you want to keep loosening it so this one's a little tougher to get out oh this is good too this is great it's a triple it looks like so it's not it's not too hard this one's a little bit harder i actually want to get right down i want to show you what it's like to get right down to the bottom so you can see how long these things actually are sometimes you can pull it out and a little bit of the tip remains but it's definitely more satisfying to get the whole thing out and you get a lot more root okay let's see i'm gonna wiggle it i'm gonna wiggle. okay and one more <laughs> or two more tries. Let's see here, am I gonna get it all out? So I'm gl actually glad we got this one because you can, you can get a feel for sometimes how difficult it is, whereas the last one was pretty simple. And it doesn't, it does, there is some correlation between the size of the root. Like if the root is fatter, generally the root, the, the top root is going to be longer as well. But sometimes even the bigger ones come out easy. I still want this though. This looks like an excellent root. <laughs> I 
I've read in the literature that they are doing testing here in Ontario for this root uh, extract, the dandelion root extract, as an anti-cancer medication. In fact, it's the only one that's ever been publicly funded. The only natural, um, I guess, herb or vegetable that's been test that's been funded to be tested for medical benefits. And uh, and that's like I said, happening at an Ontario university here. Wow, this one's really branched too. I guess you could, you know, you could say that because it's an older plant, it's going to go down further for sure. Normally, it's not this difficult. So I'm just going to give this another tug, and let's get this out. Okay, it's not fully coming right now. You see that? Look at that. Wow, it's really in there. So. <laughs> I want to get on with this. I don't want to keep you guys on this one, but you can see it's not that easy sometimes. But I'm going to try to get the Okay, so there you go. So that's that's quite a bit right there. I know it looks absolutely horrible. What I do is I take it home and I scrub it with like a toothbrush. And, uh, and then I take off any bad parts. Sometimes I peel it. And then, um, like I said, I usually will dry it and toast it and have it for like a coffee. But if I'm using it for medicinal benefits, I don't always toast it. I'll just dry it. And then I grind it all up in um, like a coffee grinder. And there's my tea or coffee. That went pretty deep. So I'm going to spend a little more time here. I'm going to dig up some more dandelions. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video and you want to see more foraging and other videos, then please hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell so that you'll get notifications. And don't forget to like the video. Thanks so much and have a great day.